guys just want to welcome you guys back to my youtube channel and today i thought it would just be fun to do a good old fashioned q a who doesn't love some q a anyway some of you guys may know me from 22 seasons of dancing with the stars or working with the ogs on season seven of dance moms or maybe you just have no freaking clue how you got here in which case this video is definitely for you i asked you to submit all of your burning questions and you guys definitely delivered. So without further ado, <clears throat> let's get into it, shall we? Okay, let's get this party started, shall we? Um, Kylie on Instagram. So what inspired you to be a dancer and how long have you been dancing? That's the question from Kylie. First of all, wasn't great at school, Kylie. And I basically started ballet from age like four to 11. And it was like the only thing that I never complained about when my mom would take me to school um, or just like wake me up over the weekends because she put me in everything you can possibly think of from basketball, uh, horseback riding, volleyball, soccer, clarinet, flute, piano, you name it. And dance was the only thing that I never complained about. I also, you know, you can actually, what you really need to do is go to my YouTube channel and which you're obviously on. Um, and watch a letter to my younger self because I have all of that info for you. But in the meantime, here's a cliff note version. Basically, my mom and my stepdad, stepsister, and I would always go, it was a Christmas tradition, go watch the Nutcracker. And I was so inspired by Claire. And um, that was why I wanted to take ballet seriously. And I have been dancing, like I said, since four and I'm 36. So 22 years, sorry, 32 years. Wait, four plus, thir Jesus, Cheryl. 32 freaking years, Kylie. That's crazy. And clearly I need to brush up on my math facts. Okay, Claire on Instagram, would you ever write another book? Well, as you see here, Claire, that is my first book that was published, I think back in like 2011. I get my years wrong, everything's a blur. And yes, actually I have been in talks about writing another one, um, but I believe that, you know, before writing another um, like biography about my life, I'm gonna first live a little bit longer, um, even though there is like a new chapter, obviously I'm newly married. I am, you know, now in my 30s. I wrote that book when I was in my 20s. So there has, there's a lot, a lot to talk about, but nothing you can't get on my YouTube channel. So I suggest that once we get this YouTube channel rolling and going um, to where like I'm posting a lot more frequently, then I think that you would be able just to get a little sneak peek of what my second book would be about. Thanks for the question, Claire. All right, so a bunch of you have asked who my favorite dance, Dancing with the Stars partner has been. And um, obviously there's so much, but um, here's a few. Emmett Smith, season three. No, I don't know the rest of the seasons. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, I actually don't know the number, but Rob Kardashian was definitely one of them. And Jack Osborne, born, Jack Osborne. And um, who else? Juan Pablo, because he was a great dancer and I love when I get great dancers because then I can dance to my ability, which is always icing on the cake, you know. Okay, next. Claire on Instagram. Are you the same Claire? Anyway, it's your lucky day if you are because I'm answering another one of your questions. How did you and Matt meet? Um, well, something again that you can also find out I think on my YouTube channel soon, but Matt and I met back in season three when I was dancing with Emmett Smith, which was I think the year 2007. And we met because his older brother, Joey Lawrence, was on Dancing with the Stars season three, danced with Edda Teslavinska, an older um, OG pro. Joey came on tour, his whole family on tour as well. So I just remember seeing this really handsome guy and I was like, hmm. And this was like after a, a show. So we were like full of sweat and I had like tan dripping down my elbows, <coughs> random elbows, but whatever. And, um, Matt says, and we're just gonna go with this story, that he saw my little like head just pop out from the crowd just to see like who everyone was talking to because everyone was talking to Matt. And it was love at first sight. I had like, my lashes were probably off, still had probably my crazy brows um, with the makeup on it. And I smelled like spray tan and sweat. So if he loved me then, he was gonna love me forever. 
cut to marriage. Ariana on Instagram, who is your favorite pro on Dancing with the Stars? Well, you know, I've got, I made some personal friends, um, one of them being Kim, now Hershevek, who was Kim Johnson, and I was a bridesmaid in her wedding. She was a bridesmaid in my wedding, and we are such opposites. She believes in Tinkerbells and lots of Disney characters. Mm -hmm. Kidding. Um, no, not really, but like she's very positive and she's got that Australian accent and she just sounds innocent at all times and I am negative Nancy. Kidding. Not after all of my spiritual work and meditation, I'm definitely not as negative as I used to be, but I could definitely still work on myself, which I currently am doing. Okay, so so many of you asked, kind of rude. No, I'm kidding. Are you and Matt having kids? If so, when? I mean, that was kind of demanding, but okay, so I would love to have kids. Clearly, I'm 36, if I haven't said that enough, and my talk, my talk, my clock is a ticking. My, my um, baby clock is ticking. But in the meantime, I must shake my booty. Hopefully, I'm back on Dancing with the Stars, and I don't think I'd feel comfortable or look great in the costumes if I were pregnant and teaching a celebrity how to dance. Plus my hormones would be raging and I already have raging hormones. So when it comes to me being patient with my partner, that would be a hard act to follow if I were pregnant on top of it all. So um, yes, we're planning on having kids. I just don't know when. And hopefully when we do decide to have kids, then we can have kids. All I, we care about is just to have a nice and healthy, beautiful kid, whether that be one, two, or three, three max, one minimum, we'll be happy. Okay, so Disney girl on Instagram. I don't know if that's your name, but I like it. Favorite movie or TV show that Matt starred in? Mrs. Doubtfire. Hello! Mrs. Doubtfire was just my fave, and he was the cute boy, and I was the cute girl, and I was gonna marry him one day, and with Boy Meets World, little secret, which you can probably, I'm gonna be repeating for another episode that you can see on my YouTube channel. I had a crush on Ben Savage. Matt, on the other hand, totally, like I would totally crush on him. But my main crush was Ben Savage. Crazy, crazy, crazy how Ben had, was now a groomsman in our wedding. Who would have thunk? Next. Lily on Instagram, how is it working on Dance Moms? I had honestly one of the best times ever. It was a little like um, fun fact, just a little like last minute. We did, had no idea. I actually met randomly with the casting director, Brian Stinson, who is awesome. Shout out to Brian. And it was just like a general meeting. Next day, Abby Miller quit and my manager got a phone call and there I was in the studio with the OG cast. Um, and it was so great to have been involved in these girls like last season of Dance Moms. It was nice to have been able to show them a different way of um, dancing and also it was a different way of life as they are entering into adulthood. So it was awesome. The moms were crazy, but also great, you know, great people. And, you know, they clearly do support their kids and um, they just want the best for their daughters. So it's, it was awesome just to be able to hopefully have them leave the show on a high note. Okay, next. James on Instagram, do you have any say in who your partner is on Dancing With Stars or is that decision made by producers? I own that show. I make all the decisions, duh. Kidding, <laughs> kind of, no I'm kidding, totally kidding. Uh, our casting director, Dina Katz, who is like my mom. Um, we've known each other for, shoot, I've done the show since 2006 and it is now 2020. So that's how long we've known each other. And she is the one that chooses and same with the executive producers as well of the show uh, from the BBC and as well as ABC. It's a whole process. And I think that, you know, ultimately they want to make good television. So when it comes to, and they want to make the dancers happy, because if you got a horrible, like miserable dancer, you know, it's like a happy wife, happy life, happy dancer, happy life. You don't want your employees to be just like miserable, right? Because they got a partner that they just don't get along with. So I think that like when it comes to pairing us, especially the dancers that have been there for such a long time, they definitely matches up as like personality wise and like who can handle what. I 
feel like they think I can handle anything. Clearly it's because I can't show any vulnerability because that's just the way I was raised, working on it. I am just blessed and lucky to have a job that I love to do and dancing has been a passion as you guys know for so long. So to be able to share that um, passion and um, our love for dance with all of you guys and to still have it be, you know, continuing season 29 is about to start is pretty amazing. And um, to look at the bigger picture, you know, it doesn't really matter who my partner is as long as dancing still runs on television that you guys continue to vote and engage in this little show that was once a little back in the day and is now turned into like a huge thing. Not good with my words today. But um, I am very grateful, grateful for all of you guys. So thank you so much for your unconditional support. Um, okay, next, Harper on Instagram. This is a good question. What is the first thing you ask your partner when you first meet them on Dancing with the Stars? Who are you? <laughs> kidding, but not kidding. <laughs> no, I don't ask them that. Um, cause I've already done my research cause the producers know me a little too well. I don't know anybody cause I, wasn't allowed to watch TV back in the day when my mother was raising us, except I did sneak in 90210. I don't know most of my partners, which means I Google them. But the, very, but the first question I do ask really is if you have any dance experience. Honestly, it's not really about the dancing as much as it is about like our chemistry and if that person is a great person or not. Because like at the end of the day, like I said, it's an arranged marriage. We spend seven days a week together, hours and hours on hours and hours um, from the moment we say hi nice nice to meet you until the finale even when we get eliminated so it's like we are taking them in as part of our family and I've made some really great um, like long-lasting friendships from Jack Osborne to Rob Kardashian to Emmett Smith and these guys like right away they weren't dancers you know especially you know Rob who was so self-conscious about dancing and looking stupid but like what is so cool is being able to bond with these types of people, helping them, not just as to become a dancer, but helping them in their everyday life, just to become a confident person with self-esteem and seeing them grow as like our little babies that we um, groom and then we're like, see you later, on to the next. Jen on Instagram, when is your line of diamond um, art coming out? And that will be coming out end of July. I know I said June and, um, but not ready yet and it will be out very soon on um, Diamond Art Club, but I will make sure to do something special for YouTube and also on all of my other platforms. And I'm gonna have guests, hopefully daily, some of my celebrity friends, and we are gonna just diamond paint together. And I have about, I think, five or four different paintings coming out. And I'll have a link for you guys to click on that will take you directly to where you can purchase one for yourself. AJ on Instagram, which of your Dancing with the Stars partners would you want for another season of All Stars? Good question. I would want Leah Remini, even though she wasn't my partner, but guys, she has been working on her dancing skills. I'm not even kidding. And she is brilliant. I just gave her a lesson the other day and whew, blew my mind. Anywho, different person. Um, but one of my partners, I would want, I think Jack Osborne. Also Rob Kardashian, either or. Rob Kardashian, Jack Osborne. Okay, next. Um, Paris on Instagram. This is Paris Hilton. I doubt it. Show and describe the meaning of what your wedding rings are all about. Well, don't have Matt's finger here, but his band, we got it engraved like the Lord of the Rings. You know, like sometimes people put, most of the time, you engrave it inside the ring, but his outside the ring. That was his decision, which was really cool. And it says always and forever. And it has our date of when we got married, which was uh, May 23rd, 2019. That's right. And with this one, so here is mine is actually three different rings. This diamond right here that you see in the center is my father's diamond, my real dad, who passed away a couple years ago. And my mother gave this diamond right here, just the middle one to Matt to restructure and reband. And we um, got all of our rings and jewelry that you saw me wear um, uh, from 14 carats. So Matt didn't just give me one ring, he gave me three. <laughs> D or die, D-I on Instagram. Who's a better cook, you or Matt? <laughs> 
definitely Matt. I uh, don't cook. I do clean, but I don't clean thoroughly. Like I clean to where like you won't see anything, but like if you are testing me and you're like swiping your finger around the corners and edges of things, then um, you will see dust. But who the hell is looking for dust? Evo or Ivo, Ivo on Instagram. How's married life so far? So far, so good, you guys. Um, you know, we have a newborn, which is not a human baby, so chill out. It's um, a little tiny Frenchie that I got from Matt on our year anniversary. And um, she has basically, if this has anything to do with like having a newborn, she's a lot to handle. And I think it has definitely brought us closer together. You go through different phases of a relationship. And right now we're in phase learning how to take care of somebody other than ourselves right now, which is actually a beautiful thing. Being married to Matt, it just feels great. It feels comfortable. I feel calm. Um, and I'm so lucky and blessed to actually have been stuck in quarantine with someone like him. This, if anything, tests your marriage. For all you married peeps out there, it's when this type of things happen in life, which don't happen often, but being stuck in um, under the same roof for a period of time with somebody, you better like them. I'm exhausted talking about myself. So um, I think that's enough questions for the day. I'm so sorry if I didn't get to yours, but you guys had so many questions, which is awesome, about Dancing with the Stars. So let me know if possibly you want me just to do a Q&A just about the show. And make sure you let me know in the comments below if you want me to, to do another Q&A. And remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every single time I upload a new video because there's gonna be some juicy crap in there. And it's not crap, but just juicy stuff. Sending you all so much love and light. Bye.